Scorpios, uh, last minute efforts are underway to avert a regional crisis in the Horn of Africa. Uh, the war in northern Ethiopia, uh, does it have potential to convert into a regional conflict with involvement of neighboring countries uh, with a far-reaching impact on the entire region? Uh, we uh, have been monitoring uh, recent developments uh, and uh, developments in the start of this conflict in November 2020. It seems that uh, there are serious concerns that a regional war is looming. A war with regional impact is looming. Why am I saying that? And which efforts are underway to avert this likely regional crisis? Firstly, we know that Mike Hammer, US Special Envoy to the Horn of Africa, has arrived in Ethiopia. Uh, he is on this mission to uh, uh, make the parties agree to a ceasefire. UN Security Council was due to meet uh, on Thursday today, but the meeting was not held. It was postponed. And reportedly next week, meeting will be held. Uh, I think on Monday, the meeting will be held. Uh, why is the U.S. concerned? Why are uh, some other neighboring countries concerned? Firstly, viewers, Ethiopia is involved in this conflict. Eritrea is involved in this conflict. Eritrean forces are not deployed. Uh, yesterday, I reported the entry of Eritrean military in Afar. So, Eritrean military is moving uh, through Afar towards Tigray. Obviously, it has not entered Tigray so far. On the uh, northern side as well of Tigray, we know that on uh, Zilambasa, on Rama, Shiraro uh, fronts, there is a heavy deployment of Eritrean forces. If you open forces encircling uh, Tigray. Another player is Sudan. Yours, uh, we know that... Uh, Thousands of Tigray fighters uh, have been organized close to Humaira. Though uh, pro-government uh, activists are claiming that thousands uh, have been killed in the fighting there, but what we have learned is that uh, Humaira front is still a very important front. It's not that uh, TDF has been eliminated on this front. Sudanese soil is being used. Tigray forces have received weapons from abroad. It has also been now, you can say, confirmed, which I reported after that. Some other analysts spoke about that too. Tigray has received weapons uh, and Sudanese soil is being used. On Sudanese soil, uh, there are thousands of Tigray fighters close to Humaira. Sudan, Eritrea relations are not very uh, friendly these days because we know that uh, a few days ago, a Sudanese delegation from Eastern Sudan was invited by Eritrean government for a peace conference in Eritrea. But Khartoum authorities did not allow Eastern Sudan uh, tribal leaders and politicians to enter Eritrea from Sudan. Er, uh, and East uh, Sudan's tribal elders, politicians, they were stopped at Sudan-Eritrea border by border authorities. And uh, since then, uh, Eritrean government has been trying to retain its influence in Eastern Sudan. Traditionally, we know that uh, Eritrea uh, has had infants in Eastern Sudan, some tribes in Eastern Sudan. Uh, they have been uh, having good relations with Eritrean government, but this infant seems to be fading now. Uh, while Tigray fighters uh, have reached in thousands close to uh, Humaira, close to Ethiopia, Sudan border. So, Third party is Sudan. What about Egypt? No one can overlook Egypt's role in this conflict if it spreads. 
uh, if uh, heavy wars go on along the border sudan ethiopia border what will egypt do some sources uh, say that arms shipments from egypt for tigray fighters are already arriving on ethiopia sudan border tigray fighters are armed where did they get their weapons from did sudanese military provide them weapons or did egypt give weapons to tigray fighters you cannot fight empty handed if these uh, tigray fighters are fighting close to humaira question is uh, who armed them and uh, it is being uh, claimed by some sources that armed shipments are arriving on sudan ethiopia border close to humaira and armed shipments are from egypt so you see that eritrea involved ethiopia involved sudan involved egypt involved and uh, uh ethiopian uh, government uh, officials they are accusing aid agencies as well that aid agencies are helping uh tigray forces tigray fighters that aid is being diverted to uh, tigray fighters uh, and in the garb of uh, in the guise of humanitarian aid arms were supplied by aid agencies it agencies are mostly from the west from us it means that western countries are involved to including us so you see that it is not just a war between tigray regional government and ethiopian federal government this time it is a regional war it has potential to convert into a regional war that is why i think last minute efforts are underway to to find a solution that is why secret negotiations are underway for a cease fire so coming days coming 2 to 3 days are very crucial viewers if these uh, secret talks fail it means that we are heading towards a large scale regional escalation if talks succeed we could see a ceasefire in coming days since it's now a regional conflict that is why there are hopes that uh, there could be ceasefire in coming days it's not just now tigray region addis ababa versus addis ababa affair it's a regional issue that is why uh, countries are involved eritrea should be concerned as well because if egyptian arms sudanese military accumulate on eritrean border will it be a positive development for eritrean security obviously no it means that eritrea would like Uh, that this conflict comes to a close uh, uh, through military means it might not come to a close immediately it will take time so we'll have to see how does eritrea want to resolve this issue militarily like it did in november 2020 when it attacked uh, along with edf it attacked tigray because it wanted to make tplf uh, no more a political force uh, because eritrea sees tplf as a threat for its existence so it tried to resolve the issue in november 2020 through military means what about uh, today does eritrea want to do the same which it did in november 2020 or does it want some political solution to keep Sudanese military uh, Egyptian arms away from Eritrean border let's see uh, but what we can sum up is that last minute efforts are underway intense diplomacy is underway to find a way out of this crisis Sudan is already part of this conflict Egypt will be drawn into and then we're going to see involvement of arab countries too 
we should not ignore the likely involvement of the UAE, Saudi Arabia and other countries if Sudan is involved. And Sudan is involved now because its soil has been used and Sudanese government is silent. Uh, UNHCR said uh, just uh, yesterday in interview with BBC that uh, uh, recruitment uh, by TDF uh, at uh, refugee camps in Sudan was underway for several months and UNHCR uh, intimated Sudanese government about this recruitment. So it's not uh, a secret for Sudanese government that TDF fighters were being trained, organized uh, and Sudan military was on board. So that is why this conflict has potential uh, to spread.